Hi besties, welcome to the second part of how to draft a basic book. Thank you for subscribing and if you are new here, please click on the subscribe button, like and comment below. In today's class, I'll be taking you through how to input your sewing allowance, how to input the zip allowance to the back bodies, how to determine the shoulder slope, the purpose of waist darts and the purpose of side darts. So in the last class, I used the bust measurements, bust point, waist, nipple to nipple, half length, under bust, shoulder to shoulder, so cut out the half scale body. So I'll be doing the same thing to this pattern too. So I'll be using the same measurements from the last class. So the first thing I'm going to do is to divide my pattern paper into three. So I'm going to measure. I want to know the wide length to determine the width of your pattern. You need to divide the bust, the length part of your measurement, which is the bust. You're going to divide it by four. I'm going to do this. This is 24. Row, so, we'll have the line. So this is my front, I will indicate it, this is my front pattern and this is my back and I'm going to draw a marking to indicate my starting point. Like I said, there's no room for this. So this will be my starting point. I'm going to connect it to the other side. Okay, so this line is my center front, center of my front. Can you divide your front bodies into two? This is the center. So this is my center back. So after separating the two bodies, the next thing is to determine the length of my pattern. So for the front parts, I'm going to I'm going to make use of 15 inches as a length. And the back part, I'm going to make use of 14 inches for the length. So the reason why I added one inch to my front body is because of the side that. So I'm going to draw a straight line to join the points. I'll do the same to the back. After the length of the bodies, the next thing is to determine how to input my zip allowance. To determine the zip allowance, I'm going to place my tape on the center back. Then I'm going to point out one hinge. So I'll be using one hinge for my allowance. So I'm going to draw a straight line down to the waistline. So one hinge. Um, using one hinge, you can add two inches, you can add three, depends on how you want your zip allowance to be. This is my zip allowance. Zip allowance. The next thing is to draft out the lines. So I'll start with my shoulder measurement. So I'm going to place my tape at the center front line, the shoulder to shoulder measurement. My shoulder to shoulder measurement is 14. 14 divided by 2 is 7. I'm going to take out 7. In determining the chest line, I'm going to divide the bust divided by 6 plus 1.5. So that will give us 7.166 or 7.2. So I'm going to consider 7.2. 
to know the weight of the chest line the, the weight across the chest line of my front body is 13 so 13 divided by 2 that's 6.5 we're going to notch 6.5 then from there i'm going to draw out the line then after that i'll trace out the chest line I'll do the same thing for the back too. I'm going to measure. So I want to measure my shoulder to shoulder. I'll start from the line of my zip allowance. Instead of the center back, I'll place my tape on the line of the zip allowance. Then I'll measure my 7 inches. Then I'm going to take, take out my first line, which is 7.2. Going to determine across my chest, so which is 6.5 also. So I'm going to follow the line. Okay. After connecting the line, I'm going to draw a straight line to show my chest line. my chest line also my chest line next thing is to determine the bust point bust point is 9 I'm going to note the 9 inches and that bust is 13 the length of the body is 15 so 15 is there so I'm going to run a line on it Okay, this is my boss point. This is my under bust, and this is my waistline. So I'll do the same thing for the back. Measure my boss point, which is 9. My under bust, which is 13. And the length of my body. So I'm going to draw the line across. Okay. Next is to craft the first pan or nipple to nipple measurements. I'm going to place my tape on my center front, then draft out. My boss pan is 8 divided by 2, that's 4. Then I'll do the same thing for the under bust, I'll draft out 4. Then I'll do the same to the waistline, I'll draft out 4. So I'll do the same thing to the back body, which is 4. I'm going to draft out 4. I'm going to mark my bust. So after then, to determine my dad, like I explained in the other class, place my tape on the bust point, then come down by 0.5. And I'm going to draw a straight line to meet the waist point. Okay, same thing for the back one, I'm going to come down by 0.5. I'm going to determine the dart. So I'll take 0.5 at the road side, 0.5 on the left side, 0.5 on the right side. And I'm going to draw it to meet the line. So instead of 0 0.5, I'm going to point at 0 
I draw your line. To draw your line. Generally, that I basically use to shape out garments. So the purpose of this waist that is to reduce the fullness across the waist and narrow the waistline to make it fitted. There should be a difference between the bust and the waist. So it's going to narrow it down to give it a fitted shape. So same thing goes for the side that. So the side that is basically used to reduce the bumpiness of the bust area. So basically, the shoulder slope is the slopey line or the slant line that runs from the neck to the tip of the shoulder. So this is the shoulder slope. You can see the neck passes higher than the tip of the shoulder. Very slopey. So to determine the shoulder slope, I'm going to place my tape on the starting point and come down by 1 inch. You can use 1.5 to draw a line on it. Can see see how slow it is so i'm going to do the same thing to the back also i'm going to come down by one hinge very line to join the neckline my shoulder slope shoulder slope this is my shoulder slope remember we took out one inch from the shoulder then we are going to factor that one inch so after taking the shoulder slope on the armhole depth i'm going to go in by 0 0.75 i'm going to go in by 0 0.25 So I'm going to draw it out. So I'll do the same thing for the back. The hand hold depth, I'm going to go in by 0 0.75 also. Then go out by 0 0.25. So that's that about the ham hole. So the next thing is to input the bust measurements. So I'll be adding the sewing allowance. So I'll be placing my tape on the chest line to determine the bust measurement. So the bust, which is 34 divided by 4, um, 8.5 is 8.5. So I'll be considering the sewing allowance. So I'm going to use 2 inches for my sewing allowance. Of course, you can use any number you want you can use two inches you can use three you can use four depends on how you want it i'm going to be using two inches which is 8.5 plus two inches is 10.5 so i'm going to note down my 10.5 so i'll go down on the waistline so my waist is 26 26 divided by four that's 6.5 so Remember, we removed one hinge for the dart. So I'm going to factor that one hinge plus 6.5, that's 7.5, plus two hinge sewing allowance, that's 9.5. So I'm going to mark 9.5. Then after then, I'm going to connect my lines. Draw a straight line down to meet the waist. So that is that about factoring your sewing allowance. I'll move to the back bodies. I'll also take the bust measurement. So I'll be placing my tape on the chest line to determine the bust measurement. My bust is 34, 34 divided by 4. So I'll be using 2 inches for the sewing allowance. You can use any inches you want. You can use 3, you can use 4, you can use any value you want. Depends on how you want it. So I'm going to be using Two inches so 8.5 plus 2 inches that's 10.5 i'm going to note down 10.5 so I'll move down to the waistline waist is 26 26 divided by 4 that's 6.5 so i'm going to factor in the dots which is 
half an inch so 6.5 will be half an inch that's 7 7 plus 2 the 2 inches allowance then that's 9 then I'm going to draw it down the next thing is to draft the neck width and the neck depth so I'll start with the back what is so determine the neck depth I'll be using 3 inches you can use any one depends on how wide you want your neck to be so for the neck depth I'll be using 4 then I'll draw a straight line to form a square And after that, I'm going to draft the neckline. So I'll be using this pattern to draw the roundness. You can see. So I'll do the same thing for the front body. I'm going to take my tape, measure the wideness, which is three. Now I'll be taking three inches for the depth. After that, I'll draw the line. Same thing I did to the back. Then join it to meet the whiteness form a square. Then use my pattern drafter to draft it out. So the next thing is to cut it out. So, so I'm going to take out my shoulder so This is the back, and this is the front. So you can see, this helps to draw the basic body. You can see how slopey the shoulder is. So to draft a side that, the purpose of the side that is to reduce the pumpiness of the armhole. That's the purpose of the side that. Remember, I took one here extra for the length. I'm going to draw a line to meet my bust point. So you can see, I'm going to come down by one inch. The hand I'm going to come down by one inch, then draw a straight line. So after that, I'm going to take 0 0.5. Then I'll draw the, draw my straight line. So basically, the purpose of side that is to reduce the pointiness of the of the handhold. And apart from reducing the pumpiness, it gives out a fitted shape to the front body. You can see the difference between the front and the back. So the front, this is the back. That has equal length. That's all about how to draft the basic body. We have come to the end of the class. I hope you find this tips helpful. Please click on the like button and comment below. Thank you. Bye.